All right, let's do the problem. Enough of that. Okay, so first we have to write this out as four, the square root of four. I'm gonna do this on another sheet of paper. I just know I'm not gonna have enough space here. The square root of four X plus 24. 4x plus 24 is equal to 4, I mean, x plus 4. I could do it on a whiteboard. Okay. The thing is, you have to square both of them. So by squaring both of them, you're going to have to do, like, you're going to have a quadratic and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff, like what he did. So you want all me to right. um... Yeah, you could make me host because sure. it's just better if I do it on a whiteboard. So if we... Let me share because a lot of times I'm not sharing. All right, so the first step that you need to do is square both sides. So write the problem down. So you have four X plus 28 square root, that's a square root, is equal to oh, equal x plus 4. So you want to get rid of the square root. So to get rid of the square root, you're going to square both sides. So you got to square this side. And you got to square that. By squaring that, you get rid of the square root. Those are parentheses. It's kind of hard to see. but oh. So now this is just going to be 4x because the square gets rid of the square root plus 28. That's the first step you do. It's actually, it's really not hard at all. Then you do the math with this. You're gonna break, do your foil, you know, like your X plus four times X plus four, because that's what X plus four squared is equal to. Just, so now you gotta do the math on this side. So you're gonna get X squared, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna get four X and then you're gonna get four X again. So I'm just gonna add that to be eight X, right? I'm not gonna write that step twice because we know we're gonna get four X here. Yes, we're gonna get four X here. So that's eight X plus 16. Okay. All right, now we gotta do some grouping, right? We just ignore the X squared for now and we do some grouping. So let me rewrite this part over. I can't believe they don't give you guys any exam though. I don't like that part because I don't see how you're learning anything. All right. So we're gonna subtract four X here. Cause remember we want the side to equal to zero. That's the, the point. So subtract four X by both sides. You just leave X squared by itself. You can't do anything with X squared because there's no X squared. So this is gonna be X squared, just rewrite that down. Obviously this goes to zero, which is what I wanted. And then this is gonna be AX minus four X, which is just gonna be four X plus 16. Then you go ahead and you subtract the 28. Mm -hmm. So now I'll subtract 28 and do that to this side. So, Again, you just write everything down. So you have X squared. Negative 12. Yep. So now we got to factor this now. You got to ask yourself what two numbers gives you, oh, that should be minus 12, not positive. Let's undo that part, make that minus. Okay, perfect. Minus 12. So you got to ask yourself, what's the factor to get this? So X, where four is in the, the middle. So, you know, you could, do, you could do six and two, which I think is gonna work, or you could do four and three. I don't think four and three is gonna work. So let's do six and two. So I would say positive six, right? Because mm -hmm. I, I need a higher, I need four to be positive. So positive six and X minus two will give you a positive four in the middle and a negative 12 on the end. Yeah. So now you know that your answer is X is equal to minus six and X is equal to two. Those are your possible answers. But the question is, is this true? 
you have to check it. So now you go back and you plug those answers into the original equation. So then you go and check. So you say four, and this is this the original equation is the square root four x plus twenty eight under the square root. So this is going to be my side where I checked minus six, and this is going to be my side over here where I checked two. Is equal to x plus four. So I'm going to plug minus six and two where the x is. So I have the square root of four times minus six plus 28. So pretty much I have 24 minus 24 plus 28, which is what? 24 or four? Four, yep. Four. Just four. So what's the square root of four? Two. All right, so this side equals two. So let's do the other side. I'm just gonna write it from here. I have minus six plus four. Does two equal negative two? Mm -hmm. So this is not a solution. Mm -hmm. So this is reject. So this is reject. So the answer is two. So the answer is two, but let's check it though. We still should check it to confirm. All right, so for two, I will plug, obviously, I'm just gonna plug it in, I'm not gonna write it over. So I'm gonna have four times two plus 28 is equal to x, x is two, so two plus four. So then this is gonna be the square root of, this is eight plus 28, the square root of um, 36 is equal to what? 36 plus 36? The square root of 36. This is oh. the square root. The square root of 36, oh Lord. <laughs> um, six. Yes, so this works. We just check in this. We already knew it worked, but we gotta check it. So yes, so two is the answer. So the answer is two. So two is the answer and two is what you should be putting in to your solution, which I'm gonna make you back the host. Yep, it was correct. Wonderful, so let's move to the next problem. But you under, you see how to do this though, right? Yeah. It's not that bad. It's a lot of steps, but the, the process is very easy actually. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let you kind of take the will on this one. You tell me what to do. So u squared, well, the, um, this, the seven minus two x and the x minus two. Yep. Remember seven minus two x the square root of it. But yes, I know what you meant. Yeah, okay, let me just write it down while I speak to you. That's correct. And then you gotta do the four with the x minus two because now that's squared. Um, so that makes that'll be x minus two times x minus two, and then we got to do the foil to yeah. factor all of that out. So x minus one x plus two. Did they give you what you're looking for? I'm doing all the steps. I don't know how you're coming up with the answer. <laughs> Are you just trying to figure out the answer? I'm just doing all the steps. No, I'm talking about um, since I square I squared mm -hmm. um both seven minus two x um in the square root and the x minus two squared. Right. So then I put them in the parentheses and I have both x's in the different parentheses and then will be x minus one x plus two. Well, seven minus two 
X stays by itself. Seven minus two X is equal to X minus two squared. But you could break X minus two up because that's just the foil. So you have X minus two times X minus two. And then you group that up. So then you get X squared. Then you get minus two X. Then you get plus minus two X. Then you get minus two times minus two. You're just doing the four method. So on the right side, you do the four method. On the left side, you just leave that number the way that it is. Yeah, I left the number alone. I'm, I was just talking about. The four part? part? This part. Okay, so what did you get for that? Um, X minus one, X plus two. No, remember, because you're going to have X minus two times itself. So if you do X times X, what's that? Uh, X squared. Right, you're going to always have X squared on that side. Mm -hmm. Remember, because you're multiplying those terms by themselves. Yeah. And that's what you want. You want to always have x squared on that side. I think I just confused myself. Well, just know that you're squaring both sides. So if you square x minus 2, X minus two squared is the same as saying X minus two times X minus two. Then the four method, which you know, you know, outside, multiply the two outside terms, multiply the outside times the inside, multiply the inside times the outside. And oh, then, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I'm like, you know that pretty well. You just, for that left, I mean, that right hand side, you're always going to have a squared in your solution. Yeah, I just confused myself. I got it, man. Yeah. So don't make that, all of this math is nothing that we haven't been doing before. It's actually probably easier than what we did last week, I think. It's just a lot of steps. So would the um, negative two X cancel out? I got minus four X. Oh yeah, I forgot they're negative. So they're negative. They're negative, you're just adding them. Okay, so negative four. Usually never get a cancellation term because you always have three terms. You always have x squared, x, and then just a number. Okay. 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 okay, x squared minus four x plus four. Right? Yep. That's what I got. Excuse me. Okay. And add we're going to add, sorry, not minus 2x. We're going to add 2x to uh, both sides. Because now when you do that, you're going to get that 7 because the minus 2x and the 2x cancel each other out. So you're going to get that 7 is equal to x squared. Minus 2x plus 4. Yes, exactly. Now you're going to subtract out the 7. This is minus 7. Negative three, so x. Yep. So now you're gonna get zero x. is equal to x squared minus two x minus three. Mm -hmm. Now we got to do the math on that. So what will give you minus three and then two x in the middle? I would say three times one, right? Yeah. So x. But you well, need the negative three. So negative three will be bigger. So X minus three and X plus one. Oh, now, this is what I was confusing myself with. I was ready to skip this step earlier. Yeah, I mean, if you could do it in your head like that, do it. But I probably, I mean, you already kind of came up with the answer. I mean, if you, like I said, if you could do it like that, go ahead. I just like to do all the steps for me, like what math, because oh, then, yeah. I mean, I was trying to do all the steps too, but I just confused myself in the order of which way. To do yeah, it. yeah. The order is just square everything first, then you foil, then find the values, then check them. That's really the order. So now you find that X is equal to three and minus one. So now we got to check it. All right. So if we check with three first, we get seven minus six really because two times three is six under the square root so that's really the square root of one and then on the other side we have three 
minus two, which is one. So that checks out. So one is equal to one. So three should be the answer. Let's check out negative one. So you have seven minus two times minus one. So that'd be a positive two. So that'll be the square root of nine. So the square root of nine is three. All right, come on. I'm writing this on the whiteboard. So, so that's three. And then on the other side, we have, I feel like both of them might be an answer. We have minus one, minus two. We have minus three. So I guess it's not an answer. And let me just make sure. Yeah, because it doesn't matter anyways. It is gonna be three because even if you take the square root of a negative number, it's still gonna be positive. So three does not equal negative three. So the answer is one. Did you put that in and did it come out to be true? I hope it is, should be. Oh, I guess it's three. How? No, we, let me go back and check this. Yeah, it gotta be one and because three, uh, yeah, it gotta be three and negative one. Let me check this again. So seven, you got three times two is six, that's minus. And then you got three, my, yeah, that's one. One, I mean, three checked out. Oh yeah, the answer is not one. The answer is at three, because remember we used three for that one. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I said one. One was what I got, that's why I said it was one. But it's three, it's yeah. three. <laughs> we did it right, but what I said, I was like, wait, we did this right? This don't make no sense. I'm glad they give you two attempts because we surely did it right. So three is the, all right. So then this, I'll share that. I'm gonna do it on my paper. Cause on my paper, it is easier. I'm gonna do it on my paper, but I'm gonna speak it out loud. Okay. The square root of 57 minus 8x is equal to 8, I mean, x minus 8. So step one, is that you... X plus four times X minus two. Yes, you square both sides. So step one, no, excuse me. Step one is that you square both sides. And then you got 57 minus eight X. And here you got eight, I mean, X minus eight times X minus eight. And then that becomes X squared plus eight and eight negative, that's minus 16 X. And then eight times eight is 64 plus 64. Okay, so let's do the math. So first thing you wanna do, you leave X squared by itself and then you subtract out eight X. So eight X on both sides. So that's gonna give you X squared plus minus eight X because minus 16 X plus eight X is minus eight X plus 64. So now you subtract 54, I mean 57 on both sides. Mm -hmm. So that's X squared minus eight X 64 minus 57 is seven, right? Yeah. So now this is gonna be X, you need it to be seven. So it's gonna be X minus eight. No, no, no. X minus seven times X minus one. Because seven, a negative seven and a negative one gives you seven and seven plus one is eight and they're both negative. So that's right. So X is equal to seven or X is equal to one. So now we're gonna check. So check, check for both X. So X is equal to seven and then X is equal to one. I'll do, um, separate them. So X is equal to seven. I have to remember to keep the square root. So 57 minus eight times seven, eight times seven is what? 56, is it? Yeah. So the square root of 57 minus the square, minus 56 is just the square root of one, which is just one. 
And then this side you have um, seven minus eight. So that's negative one. So one is not equal to negative one. So seven cannot be a solution. Let's try one. Let's try one. So we have the square root of 57 um, minus eight times one. So 57 minus eight would be 49, right? The square root of 49, which is just seven. So then we have one minus eight. One minus eight? One minus eight is negative seven. So what it, so uh, is none of them a solution? Yeah, I feel like none of them would be a solution. Let's just double check though. Let me double check this because I'm, at at 57 uh -huh. minus eight times seven is 56. So 57 minus 56 is one under the square root, which is one. And then you plug seven, seven is going into X. So seven minus eight is negative one. So that doesn't work. And then you have 57 um, minus eight. 57 minus eight is 49. The square root of 49 is seven, but you have, you have one minus eight, which is minus seven. So none of them are solutions. Yeah. So, so I would say no solution. Well, I don't think I could take words like that. It would take it as an answer. So, oh man, would it be like, cause would it be this thing? Oh no. Huh, I, just like zero? I would say zero, but zero itself is a solution. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like I just did it on the little thing and it shows like the little circle with the little like dash it just shows. But they don't even give you that as an option to select. They might. Oh shit. Is this it? No, because that's um that's for um like a degree. Uh, the degree symbol. Okay. Like an angle kind of. I didn't mean to say degree, like angle, angle. So, I mean, I have one, a two times, so let's see if it takes zero as an answer. No, it doesn't. I didn't think so. It's no solution. Dang, they can't, you can't just put no or none. I don't know. It don't work with that. <laughs> none, maybe. Or do you just write both of them, both of the numbers? I mean, none of them are a solution, but I, I don't know. You, who would write it like that? I would have never thought that. That sucks though, because we had the thing right, but I would have never thought to put like that. Me either. Yeah, once you know how to do it then. Okay, I think we're done, right? Mm -hmm. All right, see you next week. Have a good rest of your week. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Take care. You too.